Hi guys and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to SSH into a server. Now for those of you who do not know what um, SSH is, um, it's simply a mechanism that allows you to um, log into your server through a secure channel. So you know if you have a server set up, whether that's a web server or some other sort of server set up that you want to get into um, securely, you'd use SSH. Um, traditionally, you know, a lot of web administrators often use FTP where you know if they want to access the server if they want to add files onto the server they use FTP but the problem with that is FTP is unsecure whereas SSH is secure so uh, without further ado um, I'll show you how to log in to your server um, using SSH on terminal now what I've got at the moment to make this really easy for myself I've got a local server running on my laptop but you know when you normally SSH into a server you'd often do it on a web server so you'd have um, say your web server you had a website called I don't know the website dot com you'd have that and then on that website you'd uh, already have set up your SSH access including username and password so you know if you have a website um, whether it's a C panel or a Plus panel, you know you make you need to make sure that you have SSH details. You need to make sure that you configure it so that you have a SSH username and password, and that SSH access is enabled. So that's the most important thing. Once you've done that, then you know you can come onto your desktop machine, and you know you can um, log in. So simply, it's if you're using terminal, it's SSH followed by your username again. So this is what you've set up on your C panel. Uh, my username for this tutorial is Imdad, um, that's my name, and then you'd put an at sign, and then this is where you'd put the address of the server you're trying to access. Now, if it's a website, you'd do a website.com. If you've got an IP address to access your server, you'd put the IP address in, you know. But um, in my case, it's localhost because I've got the web server running on my local machine. But um, so right after the at sign, you make sure you put your server address. Once you've done that, all you need to just click enter. Now, if this uh, goes well, you know you're prompted to enter a password. If not, then um, it could be one of many reasons. You know, you'd if it's something to do with the fact that SSH is not enabled on your server or your username is invalid, you might receive an error message here. But in this case, um, I was successful, and now I just need to enter my password. And I'm just going to enter my password. Hit enter. Okay, I've entered it incorrectly. Sorry. Okay, and now I'm in. So I'm logged into my server. Now, funny enough, you know, for Mac users, you'd probably think, well, you're just on your documents, but I assure you, um, I'm on onto my local server, which is basically my local machine. So, um, so if I, I can go in, you know, I've got access to my server now, and you know, you can see I've got Game of Thrones there. But um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. You know, you can go into your server, you can run all sorts of commands, and um, that's it. So. Um, that's a tutorial on how to SSH into your server. Um, I'm going to be doing more short tutorials soon. Uh, sorry about the fact that I've taken a break with regards to my programming tutorials, but you know, I'll be back soon. <laughs> Until then, uh, thanks a lot for watching and see you soon. Make sure you subscribe and rate and comment if you want any more tutorials. Thanks and bye.